Back in 2017, I did a show called Guy's Big Project. I brought all these people in and had this great show, and there was one guy in particular that stood out, and he said he's doing real deal barbecue. Looks like real deal barbecue. He says, next time you come to Central Florida, you gotta check it out and let me cook for you. I'm here, this is Rashad Jones, and this is Big Lee's Barbecue. Big Lee's smoked chicken and mac and cheese. Ocala is a better place because of Big Lee's barbecue. I need more Big Lee's burn-ins. Big Lee's is big flavor. What were you doing when you decided to get into the world of barbecue? Working with at-risk kids to help them make better choices in life. I don't believe there's bad kids. I believe there's good kids that come up with bad situations. So you gotta give them a different situation. It's like food. You put the attention into it, it's probably gonna come out really good. Rashad brings something different to the table that a lot of people don't really bring. Big Lee's smoked ribs and a Kathy. They're good ribs, because they have meat on them. We love the Kathy. The brisket with the mac and cheese, I mean, you create a little space of heaven. Okay, chef, let's see it. This is our Big Lee's house rub. Salt, coarse ground black pepper, granulated onion, granulated garlic, oregano, basil, rosemary, thyme. And thyme. All right, so you bring in the, the spare rib. Sure. You're gonna cut this down? Yeah, I'm gonna knock some of this down. I like to get some of these little bones out. Get some of the flat meat. Get right in here. That squared off pretty nicely. You'll pull the silver skin. So what happens with the brisket? A little bit too much fat on it. Knock that off, part of the point. They both get the same dry rub. Are we gonna let this sit? Absolutely, 24 to 48 hours. What kind of wood are they going on? Central Florida oak. Low and slow, we don't really do time and tempo on a lot of things. Once the brisket has developed its bark, we're gonna pull it off the smoker. For this slab of spare ribs, I'm gonna let the color develop. I'm also gonna wait for it to get really tender so it bends easily, and then I'm gonna pull it. What are we into? A flame tang barbecue sauce. Butter, kosher salt, brown black pepper, cayenne, cumin. Kinda let the aromatics from those wake up a little bit. Rice wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar, some bourbon, a bit of hot sauce. What's your shower? Not too much. Granulated garlic, granulated onion, light brown sugar, yellow mustard, and then a boatload of ketchup. How long is this gonna cook down? Until the brown sugar dissolves. A little bit of sweetness. The ACV's the right amount. I mean, that's my kind of barbecue sauce. Now we're gonna start on the Kathy. Brisket stuffed mac and cheese. We're gonna get into our cheese sauce with a little bit of butter. You let the butter brown just a little bit. Kosher salt, tiny bit of sugar. Processed cheese. That gives that nice silky creaminess. Extra sharp cheddar. Ow! <laughs> that's how sharp that was. And milk. Let this cook down. All right, so now we're gonna stuff the mac and cheese with chopped sauce brisket. Gorgeous. Do you have current registration on this rig? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Cop pulled up just now. <laughs> <laughs> I almost had it! <sighs> the fat just melts. Wow. I'm gonna sauce this. Dump these cooked noodles in here. Let them get nice and saucy. Go down with a layer. Okay. Shredded Gouda. Now brisket. Cover that up with a little more Gouda. And then the rest of the mac and cheese goes on top of that. And then more sharp cheddar. That's all she wrote. This is going on the smoker, 30 minutes max. I'm gonna slice you up some ribs. <laughs> Look at that. There you have it. Love the barbecue sauce in the meat. The shark cheddar on top, dynamite. I mean, mac and cheese with a dollop of smoked brisket on top of it would not be the same. There's something about infusing the flavor of that brisket into the mac and cheese. There's more smoke ring than there is meat. Mm. Juicy is an understatement. Dynamite bark, seasoned all the way through from that dry brine. That barbecue sauce, there's definitely good heat in it, definitely good vinegar in it. Every single thing here has its own uniqueness about it. That's what takes this to the next level. Oh man, these ribs are looking great. I love the ribs. The uh, flavors are marinated through the meat. They're really juicy and I love the smokiness in it. 